Hi, this is Dr. Chris Wilson, physical therapist with ThinkPT here in our offices in Centerville, Ohio to discuss <clears throat> Hi, this is Dr. Chris Wilson, physical therapist with Think PT, here at our Centerville offices to discuss proper squat form and some ways to help out with managing, getting deeper into your squat while maintaining relatively good form. What we're going to talk about today, I've used this before in some of my posts. This is my functional fitness band. All right, a lot of people use these for pull-ups or other kinds of things, but they have a lot more uses to them. Um, and today we're going to talk about helping them to um, improve your squatting technique. So the big thing with most squats, right, is that you want to make sure that you're hinging at the hips, right? So we're getting in that motion with the butt going back. All right, you want to make sure that your weight's on your toes. You can see my hips or my toes almost come up some as we start to go back there. Maintaining a relatively neutral spine while you do that. If you have limited ankle motion, hip motion, other kinds of things, it can be difficult to get down there. If you've never done a squat, you may feel like you're going to fall over when you have good squat form initially until you really get comfortable with it. So that's why we're gonna talk about some different options to help out with that and get you comfortable and get you squatting in a full range of motion without increasing pain or discomfort or jeopardizing form, right? So what I'll do with some of my patients early on in the process is I'll get out this functional fitness band. I've got this nice little loop here, but there's other ways to kind of mimic this effect, whether it's with a squat rack or um, a door frame or a lot of other kinds of options. But you've got the loop in here, you're just gonna step into the loop. And what you want to do with the loop is you can get it basically right around your hind quarters there. All right, so it's supporting you and you just go back so you have a little bit of tension on those bands. Once you have that tension on those bands, you can feel kind of supporting you. You kind of almost lean back and it's going to keep you from falling over. So I can lean back quite a bit and not fall over. So you can feel comfortable with its support. It's also going to support you through the full range, right? So it's going to help you on the way down. It's also going to pull you back up a little bit too. So as you're learning that proper form. So again, that first motion is really getting that, that butt back there and hinging at those hips, right? So this is a nice way to work on that, getting that good form. Again, you'll notice I, I'm not gonna stick my neck up or anything too. I keep a nice neutral neck there also, all right? And as I'm working on it, right, I can start to work on bending those knees a little bit too, sinking down into it, and I can work this position. Now that I've got the support, I can stay in it. I can really make sure I'm not collapsing in. I'm not doing anything funky with my feet either. And I can work on this position again. Everybody's got different levels they can go down to, but this is a nice way to make sure you're getting down whatever level it is, working through different ranges, and kind of building back up that strength. So this is Dr. Chris Wilson, physical therapist with Think PT, and those are some options for incorporating squats into your workout and rehabilitation. Thanks.